Bamboo Dishwasher. Oh, yes, I am. It's great to be here. And it was great to have you. Now, have you ever washed dishes in a kitchen or business or anything before? Um, no, I haven't. This is my first time. Great. Well, I'll be the first one to show you. Okay. Now, today, I will be teaching you how to set up our three compartment sink that we have. Okay. It's actually this right here. What we use our three compartment sink for is to wash our big dishes, like our hotel pans or our big um, pots and pans, anything that cannot go through our regular dishwash. Okay. So before we get started, we always want to wash our hands. The sink yeah. is right next to the three compartment sink, so you always want to start off with our soap that's in here. Of course, turn it on however hot you can stand it. You want to wash at least just up your arms just to make sure you're fully clean. About a good 30 seconds. Okay. You can go ahead if you like. compartment sink. As you can see, each compartment has three different signs on it. Okay. Our first sink is our wash sink. Our second sink is our rinse sink. Okay. And our third sink is our sanitizer sink. Okay. Now where we start, we want to start on our wash sink. With our wash, of course, this is where our dish liquid will go into. Okay. So right next to our wash sink, will be our dish liquid underneath. When we fill up our sink, we want it to be a good lukewarm to where your hands can stand it and not too hot will it burn you off. If you ever have any problems with any of this, we do have gloves that are located right on top of the sink for you to use at all times. Okay. So inside the sinks, we do have three different stoppers. We will first want to plug the sink up with the stopper so the water doesn't go out. And we want to turn on the hot water. Like I said, we want to do have it lukewarm to where you can stand it and not too hot. We pour about four of our capfuls of our dishwash liquid inside. Turn the water right underneath the wash sign. That'll be enough so when the dishes go in there, it won't be too much where the water will start to spill out. In our next sink, this is our rinse sink. Okay. We want to once again plug the sink up and we will put the water on it as well. This water is also lukewarm where it's not too hot, but just enough where you can stand it. The purpose of this sink is just to wash all the soap and chemicals off of our dishes to put into our third sink. Okay. We want to fill the rinse sink right underneath the rinse so it's enough for the dishes to fit. Our third sink is one of our most important sinks. It's our sanitized sink. This water has to be no less than 70 degrees in temperature. It's enough work to stand, but we want it to be hot enough where it can sanitize each one of our dishes. Right on the side of our sanitizer sink, just like the wash sink, is our sanitizer liquid. It's called Quat Clean, and we pour about three capfuls of the Quat Clean into the water to make sure it's good and sanitized. Okay. Once our dish is getting to the sanitizer sink, we want it to soak for a good 15 seconds. Next to that is a rack where you can either stack the dishes here or you can put stuff up here because this is also our drying rack. Okay. And you can put it next to the sink, wherever it's comfortable for you, wherever the dishes is next to the okay. Now, do you have any questions or any way that I can help you? Uh, yes. How many soaps did you put into the actual wash sink? For our wash sink, we use about four capfuls of our dishwashing liquid. Okay. And uh, do you need to wear any aprons or any fancy gear when you wash dishes? Actually, it's 
your option. Right over here, we do have aprons that hang up. You'll see it from time to time. And if it's not none in here, once again, we do have a closet that I'm going to show you that you can go in for all of our materials. Okay. Um, most of the people, if they feel like they want to wear it, they can. It's just to stop you drying or anything. Okay. Okay, Naya, so since we already went over it once, this time I'm going to have you go over it a second time. And as you're going, I want you to repeat what you're doing back to me, just so we can make sure that you're on the right track. Sounds good? Thank you. 